see, you know, either direction. Right. So that, like, I can also zoom. Uh, there's a wide filter. I can, you can do even do wide band too. Like, so, you know, normally a CB signal is like 25 kilohertz wide. But when you get in there and you start jacking them up, it, it expands that even a little so more. So you can hear the audio. You're going over 100% modulation. So your signal is even going even wider. So you can hear motor so mouth mouth's true can, audio. Yeah, you can, you'll get all of those peaks that you're missing with just the filters that are in the radio by going oh, wow. a wide, wide filter. And then there's shapes. Like if you're trying to listen to somebody and somebody's like right beside them on another channel, like just hammering them, you can just you can set a brick wall filter so that anything past this line, you just won't hear, period. So all these people that are up on these channels, mm. they just they just can't cross So that it makes line. it receive even quieter. Yeah. Hmm. Imagine if they put this software into a radio. They have. That's what flex radios are. Yeah. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. yeah flex radio. That's why they're, you know, that's why they're five, ten grand. Um, oh, don't tell me this stuff. I've been wanting one of these for... They're way, way expensive. How long? <laughs> but they're too expensive. The price will come down. Blankers there. But um, oh, here it is FFT. Looking for like a zoom. Maybe I gotta do this. No. Uh, turn the read up. Mm. Just how much of it is spectrum display versus how much of it is pan adapter display. Change the uh, colors, I think, here. Why is that? You're getting a pretty strong crossover between like 40 and 1. I got bad harmonics or something. <laughs> I just wonder if that was a galaxy thing or what. Because like we're on 1, which is that line, but it seemed like you had a stronger signal at 40. Now they're now you have a stronger signal at 1 versus 40, according to this. So that's kind of weird. But that's how you see this kind of stuff right there, you know. You're you're looking at the full band. Channel eighty. Four. <clears throat> but yeah, all all the um Everything that's happening, it's all being done in the software, and this is really is just an adapter from, from RF to USB. And what's the name of that? This one is, there's a blog, it's on, uh, printed on the top of here, rtl-sdr.com, and they actually branded their own version, and this is an improved model they just came out with. It has a, it has a, a heated oscillator inside, so it, it's more stable frequency-wise, it doesn't want to drift too much. And um, they put this SMA connector on it instead of this uh, other connector that was a pain in the ass. Oh, and they even added too a um, there's a, there's a, a couple of pads you can solder across, and it'll put voltage out the antenna connector, so you can power an active antenna, like a GPS antenna has an amplifier built in. They'll run off five volts, um, or you can put like a tower mounted receive amplifier. Like pipe your antenna straight into the amplifier, and then it boosts the signal coming down the coax. Got screws in there. How does that connect? It's just SMA. This is like a cell phone antenna for like a data module, like a vehicle tracker. So I, I seen that. And I was like, oh, I want that for my skater. <laughs> but yeah, if you had an adapter, we could hook up to your antenna outside, and we could look at the band. Oh, I need one. I don't know when that's small. Can you, you just have, try touching the wires? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do you have Stick a coax BNC there. to PL? 
Yeah. Yeah. You have one of them? Yeah. I got SMC to BNC. Oh. <laughs> then we can do it. All right. Let's make it happen. Sweet. See what the see what the CD band looks like. Oh, this is going to be cool.